Uh, one more piece of sound, and then maybe there'll be another Discord question before we wrap up. Talked a lot about some of the really impressive leadership in the Caribbean uh, as this sort of fight for independence and some autonomy in a time of really brutal and aggressive U.S. foreign policy. We've talked about the diverting of vital medical supplies to Caribbean nations by the United States during uh, COVID-19. Uh, one of these very important leaders is the current leader of CARICOM, the Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley. And this is a very interesting clip because she was being interviewed by Christiane Amanpour on uh, Caribbean nations during COVID-19 and what their needs are. She connected it uh, to everything from, you know, role in international diplomacy, economic diversification, and of course, uh, climate and ecology. Here she is talking about her view on global leadership in this time. This is Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley. From the U.S., it is genuinely a time for all countries to step up and for all global leaders. If there's one thing that I'd like to see coming out of this is a global leadership initiative. Look, 75 years ago, the United Nations was formed on the 24th of October. We used the opportunity of post-World War II to create a number of vital institutions to be able to bring countries together to protect the most vulnerable, the weakest among us. We also used it to create the Bretton Woods institutions, which we're relying on. But we need to repurpose these organizations and in having a global leadership initiative, make sure that we are really reacting to what is real. We are told that we can access concessional funding or grant funding only if we have historic per capita incomes that are below certain levels. Well, Christian, that is like telling me that I should use my blood pressure reading from two years ago to determine whether I'm vulnerable tonight to a stroke. It's absolutely futile. And we've been carrying on this um, thesis and argument for over 30 years. We also had problems when the WTO was formed. We recognized, for example, that much of our domestic production would shut down and it would make us more open. When we had 9-11, we had other issues that were imposed on us on a one-size-fits-all prescription. Now we have this pandemic. We need global leadership similar to what we had post-World War II to become to be able to recognize that we need a plan that protects not just the strongest among us, but also the most vulnerable. And what should we be spending money? This is really, really important because she's talking about these really important reforms that people have been demanding for decades in, from the global periphery and from labor and other interests in the core with regards to the World Bank and IMF and so on. But I, I think it's important. And I think it's very in keeping actually with some of the Harvey K conversations that the, the fight to redefine what was right about those times and fight on those terms is actually very important. It was the same reason that a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about the prime minister of the Grenadines and I was playing him talking about the importance of international law in his resistance to U.S. aggression against Venezuela of course the United Nations is a flawed institution. Of course, you know, international law is either not applied in a mostly in a current context or is a, you know, it's a second order to power and it's instrumentalized and law can never solve problems of power and, and, and uh, distribution ultimately, particularly not in international affairs. However, these discourses and these frameworks are the only global mediating institutions right now to provide even a pretend neutrality for voices like a prime minister from Barbados. Yeah. So I think it's very savvy of her uh, to talk about the reforms needed in these institutions and what could be right uh, in the future. And, you know, it's, it's striking that, you know, some of the leadership coming from some of the smallest places on earth is so much more current and appropriate than, you know, anything we're seeing in the core. I mean, we have these disasters in the United States, in Israel, Philippines, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China, uh, in various ways. There's a lot of really disastrous leadership. Um, so, yeah, I think that's significant. Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I think that th that's hundred percent right. And I think putting, Putting the uh, focus back on the grander tradition of like international community is something that's important um, because so much of our recent experience with international community has been devastating for 
uh, most countries around the world. Absolutely. Just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.